I have a problem on electric dipole moment. Uh, we have electric charges, three electric charges, plus Q, plus Q and minus Q. These three are placed at the corners of equilateral triangle of side A. The magnitude of electric dipole moment, the total electric dipole moment of the system. So we just have to find out what is the total uh, electric dipole moment. Very simple case, we have got a equilateral triangle here. The side of this equilateral triangle is A. A, A, A. Three charges, one is uh, plus Q, another one is plus Q and also another one is minus Q are placed at the corners of these three. We have to just find out what is the total electric dipole moment. Now we just define, let's define what is dielectric moment. So dielectric moment is equal to Q into 2A. This dielectric moment has a direction from a negative charge to positive charge. Now di this dipole means system of two opposite charges which are equal. So we must have a minus Q and plus Q, minus Q and plus Q. Here plus Q is shared with minus Q of this. So this minus 2Q can be written as minus Q and minus Q. So this is shared among these two charges. So minus Q plus Q minus Q plus Q. So they constitute dipole. So we have got dipole moment from negative to positive one along this direction. Let me say it is P1. Another dipole moment because of this negative minus Q and plus Q along this direction that is P2. We just have to find out how much is the net dipole moment. Uh, the angle between this P1 and P2 is just this one. Since it is equilateral triangle, it is just a 60 degree. So we just have to find out a net uh, dipole moment by calculating. Uh, like we just have to find out what is the net dipole moment of these two vectors, P1 and P2. We have to go for parallelogram law vector addition and we know the result from it. So magnitude of P net is equal to square root of uh, P1 square plus P2 square plus 2 P1 uh, P2 cos theta since these two are vectors. Now uh, net dipole moment is equal to square root of uh, P1 and P2 are same because the distance of separation of two charges same for these two dipoles. So this is A, this is also C. So it means P1 is equal to P2, which is equal to some P, which is equal to dipole moment defined as Q into length of the dipole, which is equal to A. So P1 square is P square plus P2 square is again P square plus 2 P1 P2 2 P into P cos of theta angle between them is just 60. P1 and P2 angle between P1 and P2 is just 60 degree. So net dipole moment is equal to square root of this is 2p square plus uh, this is 2p square cos 60 is 1 by 2. So this is square root of 2p square plus uh, p square that is root of 3p square. So this is a net dipole moment. Answers are in terms of the charge and length of the dipole. So we just have to convert. So net dipole moment is equal to square root of 3 into p is q into a p square is q square into a square. So it is root 3 into q into a. This is a final answer. So we have here the answer.